You may have seen the released Senate inquiry into the adequacy of Australia's AML CTF regulations. Having been following this closely, here's my quick take on what it means and what's next. First, now it's out, all political parties, but most importantly, Liberal and Labour, need to get behind the report's findings. They need to add the implementation of tranche two legislation to their campaign portfolio. Time to kick the can down the road has ended. Any more and we'll be a global laughing stock who backtracks on commitments. I'm talking about our G20 statement in late 21, where we affirmed our intention to act on tranche two implementation. Not acting shows willful disregard for proper due process I mean, I don't know of a clearer way to tell the Australian public that the government doesn't have its best interests at heart by simply standing by, just watching billions in dirty money flow through our economy, knowing full well where it originated. Pick your poison. Money laundering has them all. Drug trafficking, child slavery, legal deforestation, arms dealing, the list goes on and on. And unless Tranche 2 is implemented, the Australian government are accepting their complicity in heinous crimes, which do nothing but undermine democracy and weaken Australia on both a local and a global scale. So what now? The key recommendations have to go through proper consultation process, we know that. But there's no reason this can't be done and the legislation can't be brought before the two houses within the next six months. As the Senate inquiry stated, it's no longer a matter of if tranche two is implemented, but how. This is going to be a really good one to watch.